I decided to cover some of the the hentai in there as well. You've got a, oh, it's hentai. Yeah, oh, yeah that one. We go that again. one is a fantasy hentai. I thought I put it behind me, but here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Three, two, one. It's Gamers and geeks, welcome to Ogre, episode oh, oh. 33. Yeah, 33, Old Guys Geekly Review. Yeah. I'm ready. yeah. I, we're catching up in age to episodes. Oh yeah, we're going to have what, what do we call it, the golden episode? When yeah. We, when we hit our ages? Yeah. yeah. Two golden episodes, or do you get silver and I get gold? Or you get gold and I get platinum? I'll probably... Uh, I'll... You do gold, and I'll do platinum, because I got all the gray. Okay. Yeah, I got all the gray, yeah. so... And I got all the brown. Yeah, there you go. I'll do the shit episode. So, uh, <laughs> I'm here with my good buddy, Nick. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my, bu- <laughs> my friend, JT. <laughs> Just, no. just a friend. Just a oh friend. no, my good, my bestest friend. All right, is that better? Right. You had the Eeyore uh, face for a oh. second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got my Eeyore mug. See, now the reason the Eeyore mug is very precious to me is my father is an Eeyore. Oh yeah. He, he was. Thanks for noticing me. Um, <laughs> just, the, just the best of men, and such a soft heart. And so, uh, yeah, it, it's Eeyore's kind of a tribute to him. Mm. He, Eeyore was like his. You know, favorite of the the Winnie the Pooh characters, and he always liked those kind of downtrodden, sad uh, characters and stuff, like Snuffleupagus. Yes, and stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So shout out to my dad, and uh, yeah, we got uh, anything good happen to you this week? Uh, I this morning I got my Dead Space stuff from Limited mm. uh, Limited Run. Yeah, so, Limited Run, which we found out was run by Embrasure Group, yeah. who owns everything uh i really am intrigued by the stuff they do yeah and we you know both of us have talked about the whole preservation of older games mm-hmm. and, and stuff and the physical media yeah you yeah know, so yeah i haven't had a chance to open it and um look at all the stuff um but my god the bot the box is big so i know there's I mean, there's definitely a helmet in there, and and hopefully a bunch of other goodies. I, I don't even remember. Yeah, it looks sweet. Yeah. It looks sweet. And uh, Dead Space two and three are hitting the Game Pass this month. Yeah, I think so. the the remake is hitting Game Pass as well. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So nice. yeah, it's a good time. Good time to game. Uh, well, how is your week treating you? Oh, thing things are excellent, my friend. Things are just good. I'm looking forward to next week. Sarah's on spring break, and she's just been so busy. Mm. Uh, so I'm looking forward to her getting a chance just to relax. She'll probably it. the The saddest thing about it all is spring break is hitting a week too early. Oh yeah. Because for her, she pre-ordered Diablo Four. Oh. And the beta for her, even though she gets it a week earlier than everybody else, um, doesn't hit until the end of spring break. So. I, I if she if she had had spring break just a week later that would be all she'd be doing just Diablo all week. Do uh, okay so I this might be a stupid question. Do teachers get a take vacation? She is or, uh, well things slow down. Hmm. Um it's kind of a I don't know if uh as far as well when I was a teacher in the classroom that would be one of those weeks that uh, we would not be on contract. It wouldn't be like vacation because they paid us for a certain number of days out of the year. Okay. Um. So, so no, not really. That's I mean, there's poopy. yeah, yeah. Teaching contracts are kind of uh, you pretty much only get paid for ten months out of a twelve month cycle. Okay. Um. So they just expect you to take your vacation during the summer break. Yeah, but, but more, I heard a lot of teachers are like super busy preparing for the next year. Oh yeah, their summer break. yeah. You you do a lot of prep work and stuff, or you uh, if you don't, you really suffer. So you just got to do that on your free time. You don't get paid oh, for that. Oh man, teachers get uh, teachers. There was so much time that you never get paid for, and, and that you, I never got paid for as a teacher um, because you're salaried. It seems like you, you know. get the shaft. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah, definitely. And that's why teachers burn out so easily is because it's not a forty-hour work week. Yeah. It's, if you're a good teacher, it's sixty to eighty hours. Mm-hmm. Hell, some people probably even put more than that in. It's it's incredible. 
But anyway, yeah, we, we digress. Teachers don't get paid enough for what they do. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Especially nowadays when the, when the TikTok challenges are oh. having you punch your teacher oh, and crap. I, I bet you're happy you're not oh, in the... I am so happy I'm not in the classroom, <laughs> especially in Florida. Florida is just mm-hmm. awful right now for teachers. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I would have... Uh... If I was a teacher and a kid punched me, I'd probably do the same back to him. I'd probably, oh, I'd, I'd probably yeah. be done after that. But yeah, but oh my god, yeah, you, yeah, it it is uh, it is not for everybody no. being in the classroom, no. and uh, they they definitely need more respect. Should we? Uh, you want to hop into movies? You want to get a girl? Well, I got something to to hit you with before oh, we go yeah. into movies, which is you know we're moving to Northampton, Massachusetts, because it's the coolest city in the U.S. Okay. Northampton, Massachusetts. Yeah, because they're turning their sewer covers into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer covers. I think we need to fuck I, move. Exactly. That, <laughs> yeah. yeah, shout out to Northampton, Massachusetts. You all are the shit. Yeah, that's like the geekiest thing I've ever heard a city doing. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah, so Teenage TMNT sewer covers. I, you know, I'm going to be looking... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be looking at uh at moving there. I'm gonna be looking for houses and shit. Really? Yeah. They're really replacing yeah. it with teenage mutant ninja turtle sewer covers. Yeah. That's so badass. I know. It's very badass. Let's visit. And oh we'll hell yeah. We'll steal one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll steal one and bring it back. They're like five thousand dollars a piece, but <laughs> it's not out of my pocket. <laughs> we'll drive it. We'll drive it. Actually, you know, maybe just do do like a, a rubbing of them. You know, do do like a chalk rubbing, just as oh, like a yeah. touristy thing. Oh, hey, there's a there's this cool dude on Instagram that will go to like all these different places and like put um, the paint roller on them and then press a shirt against. Yeah, them. I've seen and that. Pre- That's pretty cool. That would be badass to get that. Hell yeah. Maybe maybe we need to plan a trip. <laughs> that would be cool. Massachusetts, here we come. <laughs> Podcast yeah. on road special. <laughs> Hell yeah. Covering the fifty states. All right, movie time. Yeah, movies. Movies. All right, I I haven't watched anything new. Uh, watched a few old movies. Okay. Um, which one did I watch? The Perfect Getaway, which was, it, like, it's an older. It's uh, maybe five, six. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's probably within the last decade it came out. Um. Oh, okay. Kind of a twisty movie. Hmm. Um. The Perfect Getaway. Yeah. Who's it's, in uh, it? Ooh. Okay. Steve's on. Uh, Tiffany Oliphant, Mila Jovovich, Chris Hemsworth. Um, God, I think there was a few more, but basically, it's these uh, uh, three couples are in Hawaii. Okay, they don't know each other. They run in, on, into each other on the roads in a hike, and uh, one of the couples is stalking the other two, and it's so good. Like I was messing around and kind of was like, "What if this happens?" And I I ended up getting it right, but they did it in a very very good way. So it's a it's a great movie. Okay. Uh, and I think I think that might be the only one that I watched, besides a few spook movies like A Haunted oh, House, okay. Meet the Blacks, and uh, Haunted House Two and Meet the Blacks cool. Two. Um, you watch anything? Uh, movie wise, no, I didn't watch anything. But I am going to give a shout out to October Sky. Mm. Um, I uh, played that in my science classroom every year to talk about. The Rocket Boys, mm. and uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal played one of the lead roles in that. Mm-hmm. And did you hear what he did this week? He did the MMA way in, and then the flying knockout thing. Yeah, for, yeah, for he Roadhouse. actually, yeah, he actually performed in a uh, an actual UCF or whatever arena UFC. event, UFC yeah. event, mm-hmm. uh, for I don't know preparation or filming or whatever Roadhouse. for Roadhouse. Yeah yeah, 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 that was really cool. Yeah, that he dude gets is shredded. He gets so into his movies. Oh, he, he does. He is such a character actor. Mm-hmm. He just like absorbs uh, whatever the character is going to be. Yeah, he's really good. You know, I watched uh, every every single movie I've watched of his. I've really liked except for Bubble Boy, the remake of Bubble Boy, because that was just so dumb, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he is one of the few actors out there that I don't think he would ever be typecast. I mean, he's been in Marvel movies, Brokeback Mountain, yeah, uh, I, Donnie Darko. He he does everything, yeah, and and yeah, he's he's like the the one actor I could never see being just like pigeonholed into something. Mm-hmm. No, he's he's very a lot of range, yeah, a lot of range. Um, what else we got? Uh, Henry Cavill and his abs are playing Captain Price in a Call of Duty movie. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to... I, I hate Call of Duty nowadays. Well, and yeah. And it's mainly yeah. the people that play it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I still. Every time they talk about how popular it is, I'm like, really, really? Who's playing that? Yeah, it's uh, it's just so much different now. I don't. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, new mm-hmm. Alien movie. We were talking about that. Okay. A little bit ago. So it begins. Uh, it's beginning production very soon, and the focus will be an adult newt on a distant planet. Xenomorphs are going to make an appearance, and it's directed by the same person. I want to say his name's Alvarez. I don't remember the first name. Okay. Um, but he did Evil Dead, The Girl in the Spider's Web, and Don't Breathe, which are okay. all pretty good movies. Okay. Uh, let's see. Across the Spider-Verse will reference the events of No Way Home, uh, specifically Doctor Strange's spell. Okay. Mm. So are they bringing the Spider-Verse into the MCU? I don't know if they are. I think they're bringing just Tom Holland's Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Uh, and then uh, Dead by Daylight movie is in mm. works. I think Blumhouse is going to do that or try to tackle it. Dead by Daylight. All um, right. That's all the movie news I got. Not very much this week. Uh, so. Um, oh, actually, there is. Where is all my. Yeah, there, there's there's definitely more movie news. Oh, I put it in my TV notes. Oh. Yeah. That, should we talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah, let's do it. All Why right. not? Uh, the Mutant Mayhem trailer debuted. The The movie poster debuted. It looks. Yeah. I love the. I love that poster. Okay. Um, and then the cast is just absolutely stacked. Yes. Um. So the movie looks like it's choppy animation, like the Spider Verse movies. Right. Seth Rogen looks like he's nailing the comedy. Uh, from what I've seen in the trailer, I'm I'm just extremely stoked about it. Yeah, a lot of people are very excited mm-hmm. about, about this, except for one thing that's stupid, but people are up in arms about it really april o'neill oh she oh she turned black yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm like ah, oh, geez people Who cares i know exactly Who? exactly it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun so uh so all you haters out there just don't go see it i'll enjoy it you know when i was a 10 year old uh hank mccoy on the x-men cartoon said if you prick us do we not bleed and i know that's not the original <laughs> quoting of God. it but you that's know, i think i'm just going to say no x-men did that first <laughs> yeah, yeah no but but that ra- that stuck with me i well i was like 10 when that when the show started airing well maybe very, it was very impressionable older. beast lay, yeah. laying some uh, good verse on you yeah yeah so i mean i guess i guess maybe i had the best teachers in the world <laughs> the x-men <laughs> um but yeah, so the cast in this movie, Seth Rogen, um, and I wish I would have wrote who they're playing. I'll see if I can't remember. Seth Rogen is playing Bebop. Maya Rudolph, who I don't remember. Jackie Chan is playing Splinter. That's awesome. Ice Cube, I don't remember. John Cena is Rocksteady. Paul Rudd nice. is somebody. I don't I don't remember who he is. Rose Byrne, Post Malone, Hannibal Burris, and Giancarlo Esposito. I mean, oh, wow. there's you had me at Giancarlo. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. It's just an amazing, amazing cat. Yeah, that's, that's I'll be there for it. I'll be there so, for it. so I got to tell you. Because of all the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff, I've always been quite a uh, a decent fan yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, I found three of the golden books. Okay. Uh, like the D and D one that you got me. Uh, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I got nice. three of those coming to the house. Um, got a bunch of onesies, baby clothes oh, for okay. for Ninja Turtles. I don't even know if it's a girl or a boy yet, but I don't give a shit. Yeah, no, it's gonna be geeky. That's yeah. what it's gonna be. Yeah, uh, I love it. I yeah. love it. Uh, that's that. That is all the movie news I've got. So, so uh, the other day we we got news from about <clears throat> the Star Wars universe. Uh, they have officially canceled and shelved the Kevin Feige Star Wars movie. Really? Yep. And uh, also the Patty Jenkins. So two Star Wars films got canned this week. I did not hear this. Yeah. I'm which shocked. which brings me into something else I'm going to talk about later. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, so two Star Wars movies got canned. It seems like the Taika Waititi Star Wars movie is still a go. Good. That's good. that's the only one that people are the most certain about. And he's the um, only one that's kind of forgotten about the past Star Wars movies when he asked. Uh, Natalie Portman, oh, yeah. she wanted to be. In. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, you know Taika. He's just going to do his own damn thing, yeah. and it'll be good, and everybody will have a good time. So, yeah. yeah. And that's, you know what? Honestly, that's exactly what Star Wars needs. Somebody to forget about everything else mm-hmm. and just do something cool. Yeah. And that, that Taika can do that. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm happy about that. And we're not sure, Ryan Johnson, what his where he stands with his stuff. 
Uh, so we'll we'll see there. You know, so some some I don't I don't know if I want to call it sad news for Star Wars, but uh, the TV well, shows are definitely um, the place to be as far as Star Wars action right now. Yeah, the Patty Jenkin one is kind of sad to me a little bit, but uh, the Kevin she, Feige one, I'm uh, he needs to stay in his own lane. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna talk about some more of that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's gonna be brought up again. Yeah, uh, old Kevin. Um, Creed three just like stellar box office. Yeah, I've just been smashed good. the box office. It was expected to do like thirty million. It did fifty eight. Nice. It was yeah, just absolutely smashed uh, Ant Man. Mm-hmm. Um, but the number four movie with twelve million dollars. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer had oh, a new duh. movie come out, and it actually took fourth place at the box office. I didn't know that that was. Uh, I didn't know it was out already. Yeah, yeah it just came out last weekend. And uh, that's the Sword Smith Village. Yeah, Sword Smith Village, which will lead into just like they did last time. Mm. They had a movie that leads into the anime season. Yeah. Um, and so same same for this one. It'll okay. be a movie that leads into the anime season. Oh, hell yeah. That was uh that uh Mugen train. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy I got to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if uh I'll, I'll actually see if the theater actually is playing this one. Yeah, as far as Shonen goes, which I, I'm not a huge Shonen fan, Demon Slayers is great. So Yeah, it's got good yeah. animation. I, I oh, like yeah. the style. Yeah, definite good animation. So so anyway, you know, we got uh that's the big movie news. We got two movies coming up this weekend. Uh Scream Six. God already. Yeah. It doesn't seem that long ago that the fifth one came just, out. Just a couple of days and we like, got Scream Six. I'm kind of I'm kinda of stoked for that one. Oh well, that's that's your your kind of thing. Oh, more yeah. more my kind of thing is sixty five. Sixty five. It is a, a sci fi action movie with uh, Adam Driver. Oh, is that the one where he goes back in the dinosaur times or something? I don't know much about it, but it's got Adam Driver, yeah. so you know. Yeah. He's got a weird body. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's got like, like a really boxy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay. Adam Driver. Yeah. So some some sci fi, some horror stuff for this weekend. Uh, Adam Driver also has secret sex lips. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I Ned. heard it from Deadpool. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to put Deadpool quotes in everything I can. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> uh, so the question is, what's going to be number one at the box office? We got Creed, we got Ant Man, and it's fourth week at that point, and and so we got Scream and uh, sixty five. I'm gonna say Scream. I'm gonna <sighs> horror has been great last year. Yeah, uh, horror has been like unsinkable as far as everything else. Everything else has been kind of down. Um, I'm I'm nervous for Scream, but I I like how they're bringing uh, God, what's up, Hayden Pantier back. Yeah. Uh, her brother just died at like oh. twenty seven or something. Yeesh. Um, but I like how they're bringing her back. I hate how they didn't bring Nev Campbell back. They just did don't want to pay her, and she's been the yeah. f- the front runner of this series for well since the beginning. Yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of yeah. sad. Yeah, it's a, it's always a um, I don't know. You've got you've got actors, and obviously they need to be paid what they're worth, but studios take a lot of risk too. Mm. So it it it's a tough call you know i mean how much do you pay somebody before it's worth it or too much and and you know yeah, yeah. money 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 uh but yeah i i'm hoping i'm hoping scream performs because i'd like to see some more um horror movies yeah i i think scream six will probably take the top spot but mm. i think creed to do another stellar weekend oh yeah yeah creed i've been hearing nothing but good things for if i've seen the second one already which i haven't i would have went to go see the third one already but I, I guess I need to catch up on my Creed. Uh, reviews are good at a 73. Uh, Scream has already got a uh, reviews out, but it's not as high as Creed at 67. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think the reviews will matter that much for this. Okay. And, th- and that's all I've got for movies. All right, let's move into television. Sweet. Television. And uh, I've been catching up on, let's see. So the only things I've been watching is The Book of Boba Fett. I've got one more episode of that, and then I'm moving into The Mandalorian. Okay, so when when episode five hit, mm-hmm. what did you think? Uh, for the Book of Boba Fett, yeah, it was decent. Okay, I, see, I thought I thought episode five was such a different. That's the one Dice uh, Bryce Dallas, Dallas Howard 
yeah. directed, and it was more like Mandalorian season two point five. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just thought it was so good compared to the previous four. Yeah, I did not go back and watch the previous four. I should probably. Do oh, that. okay. Uh, yeah, I, but I know I, I don't think I don't think you need to. You don't. Okay. <laughs> well, it does seem to be picking back up, so I'm I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, um, the back half of Book of Boba Fett is definitely better than the first half. Yeah, and I've I've always been a fan of uh, Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. I'm a huge fan of now. Oh, so and so speaking of the Mandalorian, I I watched the first episode of, of season three. Mm-hmm. It's so amazing. Is so it? amazing. I they. They're doing just such a, and particularly for the Mandalorian culture, mm-hmm. you know, what they're bringing in is just so good. Yeah. I mean, little stumble with the book of Boba Fett as far as everybody's favorite Mandalorian, but with Din Djarin and, and what they're doing with the, the the concepts of the different clans and so forth with Mandalorian, it, it's really good, really mm-hmm. good stuff. So very happy with Mandalorian. Good. What, you watch anything else? Uh no no um just uh, uh just that a little bit of I guess maybe some other shows I've been catching up on but they're old old school I I actually forgot to watch uh all my anime this weekend too so oh oh man you got some catching up to do yeah um I watched Last of Us oh you did yeah uh oh you look like you're uh, kicking yourself for doing that no no I didn't think I would want to because it was the same kind of I don't really like to rewatch stuff anyway mm-hmm. and the last of us as far as a video game was such a high emotional drama good story that one I didn't want to taint it with mm-hmm. with watching something else that might be inferior or better or whatever yeah um, and and two I just um, I knew how heavy it was oh yeah. They've done a great job. Have they? They've done a great job. Re, I still, I'm still on the fence about whether or not it's something. If you've already played the video game, that you should watch again because it pretty much follows the story pretty faithfully. Okay. And I think it's a great example of when you bring people in who did the original, you're going to have a better product. Oh yeah. And hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And they brought the writer, maybe the director. But they have people who are, are very close to the source material mm. that were brought in for the show, and it shows. Oh, I, w- I wish they would have did that for The Witcher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I hear uh, bad things rumbling about season three for The Witcher. Oh, yeah, I've been hearing some stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so uh, Last of Us, if you haven't seen it, it's a must-watch show. It Just, okay. it, it's amazing. They've done such a great job with the world and the characters and the acting. And Pedro Pascal. Yeah, and he does an amazing job as Joel. Mm. Not as convinced about Ellie, the actress who plays Ellie. Okay. Um, she she plays the character a little more uh, rough and jaded than Ellie in the video games, who seem to have a little more hope and innocence. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I just thought it was amazing what they did. And the changes that they've made between the show and the video game, um, I don't want to say were necessary, but do work better for TV as opposed to the video game. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. That's always it's always good when they, they can adapt the format to, to fit to fit the format better. Yeah. So But the 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 show is still the same. Yeah, that story's still the same. That's one I'm waiting for the season to conclude before I just I'm gonna oh, yeah. I'm gonna take it all out. Uh, anything else you watched? <coughs> no, uh, that that's all. I got a little bit of news. Oh, me too. All right, hit hit us with the news. All right, so John Bernthal. Uh, that's what I had. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's returning as the Punisher in Daredevil Reborn. So that means I got to add another name to that list oh, God. that is coming up yeah. because he wasn't on it mm-hmm. because he wasn't in the MCU yet. Yeah. And now yeah. he is. I, oh, I can't. I can't wait. I thought he was a great Punisher. He oh, was, yeah. He made an gr- excellent Punisher. But the one thing that I hated in the season two of the Punisher show was uh, when they came across the pedophile and he didn't punish him. Yeah. That was that was one. I was like, that just does not seem very Frank castle to me. So here's the question for you: Will the Punisher work with Disney? Uh, I know that they said that they were looking at doing some rated R stuff. Uh, Punisher is definitely within that yeah. realm because they've already said that Daredevil Reborn is going to be a much lighter tone than 
the Netflix Daredevil series. Yes. So I'm nervous. Uh huh. Um, because I don't want like a, a kids version, like a kids show version of the Punisher. I yeah, just don't. I know. It don't fit. Yeah. Um, I, I'm right there with you. So yeah. I'm so excited that he's coming back for the role, but I'm still a little nervous about if they're going to do him justice. Gonna be. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. Um, like he he's a he's a very very violent character. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, but apparently they're not bringing back uh, Karen Page or Foggy Nelson. Um, Deborah Ann Wall, she's such a, a great actress for that part. I'm yeah. kind of sad that she's not coming back, or at least hasn't been announced that she's coming back for it. Yeah, I think she's been actually vocal on social media saying that they still haven't approached her or anything. Yeah. So I'm just assuming that it's a it's a done deal, which uh, is really really sucks. Yeah, yeah, she is a good actress. Uh, Foggy Nelson did a great job too. I don't remember his name. And now I don't remember the actor's name either. But they both fit the roles mm-hmm. really well. It's kind of sad that they're not coming back. But on the other hand, Marvel's got so many characters to deal with. I'm kind of glad they're not coming back because Marvel needs to deal with all the damn characters that they have. And we'll get, we have a whole segment of that that we're going to get into. Oh my God, dude. I, I put all my, a lot of my movie notes into the television notes. That's all right. We can mix it up. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's have the, to mix it it's up. The, we'll it's just do the mix up episode. Yeah, we'll do movies and TV. I don't yeah. know why I did this. It's all good. Uh, God, is that the only TV? I think that might be the only TV news I have. No, <laughs> <laughs> the rest. Of it. Well, that that was the only TV news I had. All right, well, let's 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 rewind it, and I'll I'll put a little rewind sound clip or something. Yeah, there we go. Movies, television. Uh, Avatar: The Way of Water is hitting streaming on March twenty eighth. This is back to oh, movies. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, uh, we'll see. April 13th, The Return of the King is returning to theaters for its 20th anniversary. Okay. I can't believe it's 20 years old. Right? I know, yeah, I know, yeah. That's older than my daughter. Yeah. Uh, Jack Cassie, the guy that played Black Tom Cassidy in Deadpool 2. Okay. Is the new Hellboy. Interesting, mm-hmm. okay. And the last bit of news that I have for movies... Is Hugh Jackman, which I don't know why, but my phone decided to correct it to Hi Hackman. <laughs> um, That's his new nickname. Yeah, he is eating 8K calories a day. That's 8,000 calories a day. Now, to put that in perspective for you, most people eat about 2,000. Yeah, 2,500. Yeah. Adult male, 2,500. Yeah. Adult female, 2,000 uh, on average. Me, since I started lifting weights, I am eating 3,500 a day. Oh, okay. I'm miserable. <laughs> I can't. I literally cannot eat anymore. So eight thousand is just insane to me. It's a lot. That's a lot of food. Yeah, it's a lot of food. Yep. Yeah. But when when I see his body after after at, like the payoff of it, I'm probably going to try to eat eight thousand calories a day, minus a foot because I think you'll he's be like in, a foot. You'll be in the gym all the time, <laughs> all the time, burning yeah. that off. All right, that's all the movie slash TV news that I that I have. Okay, well, we got stuff coming up this week. Okay. Uh, on the twelfth, we got the Oscars. Oh, okay. Uh, so no more slapping, right? I, I think I'm hoping everything, everywhere, all at once wins. Yeah, I doubt it though. Didn't she just get what was it, the Academy Awards or the Screen Actors Guild? Yeah, she's she's won a couple of awards for the role already. I heard she didn't get the Best Actress though, which I oh. think is kind of a shame. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. I don't. I I read a. I read an article, um, but I don't remember the the fine details. So for all of you guys that want to watch the Oscars, that's coming up. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we got two shows, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Okay. Gotham Knights, and Superman and Lois. Mm-hmm. It's a weird time to have WB stuff show up because of the whole new paradigm. Is this going to be like? The end for both of them? Are we going to actually get a wrap up for any of this stuff? It's uh, yeah, who knows? It's all up in the air. Yeah, yeah. So it's just weird having that, uh, having especially Gotham Knights because it's the first season and first thing of it. Mm-hmm. And I have a feeling Gotham Knights is just going to be a one season and forgotten. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. And that's all I have for TV. That's all the the new TV shows coming up. 
Well, let's uh, let's hop on into the anime category. Oh, I, I'm looking forward to the anime game this week. Oh yeah. Anime. So, um, I guess we should talk about Attack on Titan first. Okay. So the new season of anime is coming up, but Attack on Titan is playing by their own rules and their own thing. So they they started this past week. A uh, very long introductory episode to the season, which they're calling not the final season, but the final chapters. I don't know what the hell they're doing because the last season was the final season. Yeah. 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 So well, what, final, final season part two. Yeah. Final season part one. But this isn't part... called final season part three. This mm-hmm. is called final chapters. Oh, maybe maybe they're taking a page out of the Fast and Furious naming uh I, I don't know. I don't think they know I, at this point. I just, I just hope they wrap it up. It's mm-hmm. time. It's time for Attack on Titan to be done. Um, it's yeah. If you want something with a lot of drama and crying, then this is your show. Yeah, I just. There's a lot of filler. There's an awful lot of just yeah. stuff that they could have cut out. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, if it's not done by by this season or by this part or You're whatever, it's going to be done with yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think I'll I'll boycott everything. Attack this on this Titan. whole last season, final mm-hmm. season, final chapters, this whole last thing, I've just not been impressed with at all. No, it's just it's man, the slow parts are just incredibly painfully slow. Yeah, yeah, and boring. Like I I think I fell asleep in the same episode about three times oh, before damn. I got through it. Wow. Yeah, and it's just, and it's hard for me to fall asleep in something unless yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> it it's a, it's a very drama heavy show these days. Yeah, with a, yeah. A, lot, a lot of crying and stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah. Well, so anyway, you know, Attack on Titan is still very popular. Mm-hmm. I just hope it wraps up. Yes, so we yes. can <laughs> move on. Uh, but we've got season four coming up, and so I, I've got a couple of uh, little little things we're going to play the game where where you're going to look at the shows but instead of me giving you just one at a time you're I'm just going to do a whole stack i'm going to hand you the stack okay and if you see something interesting i want you to talk about it a little bit then i'll look it up okay so next week we'll do the breakdown of what are the most popular shows so like i'll do a i don't know if it's 10 most popular five most popular shows whatever the popular shows for the season are and then week after that, right before anime kicks off, I'll do my personal top picks. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. All right. Well, we got to start off with the Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor I, Moon. I know Sailor Moon very well. Not very well, but I like their outfits. Well, <laughs> yeah, they're out. Yeah. So, so. And I want to be punished. Sarah had these red boots. Uh, <laughs> And we were dressed up for Halloween, and she ended up going to see a friend because they just gave birth. Mm. And she has she had a son who was like 10, and he got completely obsessed with the idea of the, the thigh-high red boots. Oh, yeah. And that, that has apparently been a thing for him as he's grown up, Yeah, is the thigh-high red boots. I like, I love thigh-high socks. I love thigh, thigh-high boots. Dude, dude, there was this girl I went to college with, and I hope she don't listen to the show. <laughs> but she had those Converse, like oh. the stripper Converse. Oh, with the yeah, thigh-high yeah. Con- oh, my God. Those were amazing. Yeah. Uh, so uh, all, you, all you waifus out there, or wannabe waifus, yep, thigh-high, yep. thigh-high thigh stuff. Highs. That 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 just few inches of, of skin between you know the the skirt and the thigh high. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, just drives you know, they, Actually, Japanese. I and I don't know there's how. There's a name I, for it. There's a name for that little section of skin. Oh damn! Yeah, All the, right. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I, I'm a fan, and the the Sailor Moon is Cosmos, and it's going to be a movie. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks. Uh, it looks June really 9th. Cool. June 9th for the Sailor Moon movie. Let's see. That looks like a gamer. Girlfriend, boyfriend type deal. Let's see. I'm looking through them. Ooh. So it, just just so you know, we've got um, 71 shows. Yeah, I don't like the animation on that one. You don't. But but if you want, if you're interested, is it like a shonen? It looks shonen. Um, it is a. Um, it's listed as a comedy romance. I know, but it looks so shonen on it. Yeah. Um. Well, no, it does say Shonen Demographic, but up top it says Comedy Romance. That is Rokudo no Onataki. Okay. Um, so who knows? It's got everything listed. Uh, it is apparently <laughs> a a high school Shonen 
possible romance dealing with delinquents and outcasts. Sounds like a lot of genres rolled up into one, like Excel Saga was. Yeah, yeah. And the art's kind of reminiscent of Excel Saga, too. A little bit. Yeah. I might have to check that one out. Uh, that I don't like the so. I don't like the drawing of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he but, is staring into my soul. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that one's a mystery sci-fi, not not mis- nah, sci-fi suspense mystery kind of show, like detective, supernatural kind of thing. That looks kind of creepy. Uh, that is a movie coming out this year, and another you you must like the suspense and and horror stuff. That is, Amarito um, no. Conan and uh it it is a horror supernatural mystery movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got some space Eden Zero. Uh, I believe that's season two. Yep. Season one is already out for that one. Um and it's it's shonen. Yeah, Eden Zero, it's it's your it's your pretty traditional shonen type stuff. Um adventure. It's got a comedy bent. For Shonen, okay. I I prefer my Shonen with a lot of comedy, so we'll see how this one plans pays out. If it's uh more comedic than drama, that looks interesting. The Ancient Magus Bride. Oh, my wife loves that, so I guess I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> that is, that is season two, mm-hmm. and it is the seventh most popular of the shows this season. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Ancient Magus Bride. Gumby Gumby got old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some. Uh, it's not really kids anime. I'm not sure about that one. It is like really low on the popularity list. Ooh. So we'll uh, we'll see what that one is. Yeah, we get another season of Doctor Stone. Which, as far as shonen goes, other than comedy, I like my shonen a little more cerebral. And yeah. Doctor Stone is a very kind of strategic thinker, um, instead of just a bunch of fisticuffs and action and stuff. Uma so I, I like that about I like that about Doctor Stone that one? Oh man that is one of the the best animes that never gets translated and i'm so upset about it i really want a dubbed version of uh this this series has been going on for quite a while and it's pretty derby okay. so it's a bunch of hot chicks but instead of horses it's it's them racing so it's like if you wanted you know hot chicks to race and bet <laughs> on instead of instead of horses yeah yeah this this is it pretty derby I'm a, you know, I got a friend that actually did uh, fan. Uh, he did a fan dub voices, so I'm gonna see if he's got a site for me to go on and see if we can get some fan dubs of some of these shows that nice. you want to see in English. Yeah, I, w- I would love to have a dub of that. I've seen a few episodes of the the subbed, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's such a fun, uh, interesting little show. A bunch of uh, hot uh, chicks instead I know of horses. That one. Sorry. Oh, I didn't oh yeah, off. yeah. Uh, Black Clover. Clover, yeah. There's a movie coming out for Black Clover this uh, season, Sword of the Wizard King, and that's on June 16th. We'll get the movie for Black Clover. Looks like it's appearing on Netflix. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'm that actually, that's probably going to make my uh, top 10 list or whatever of ones I'm most excited about. And that is, uh, let me make sure I get the name of it right. My one not kill sister. My one hit kill sister. Oh, my one hit kill sister. <laughs> yeah, my one hit kill sister. <laughs> and that's probably going to make my top ten. Oh my god! <laughs> cute little hamster, <laughs> space hamster cat. Thing. Yeah, that that is apparently a, in the cute genre. Uh, <laughs> Too cute crisis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the f? For for the people who just sit and watch uh watch cat videos all day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I knew you, I knew you'd get a kick out of that one. Damn. <laughs> Holy mackerel! <laughs> the marginal service. <laughs> yeah, it's apparently an action. Um, I don't know. It, it, if Chip and Dale's had an, an action TV series, maybe that's what that would be. The marginal service. Dude, there are so many. I'm trying to go through them pretty quick, but there's oh, a no, lot. It's all good. We're having fun with it. Oh, there's Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. We talked about it a little bit with the movie, right? Mm-hmm. So we're... Summoned to another world for a second time. That's probably another one that'll make it into my... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
was it Fushigi no Kun no Succubus? Yeah, the the Succubus tale. I put a little. Uh, I I decided to cover some of the the hentai in there as well. You've got. A, oh, it's hentai. Yeah, oh, yeah that one. We go that again. one is a fantasy hentai. I thought I put it behind me, but here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yuri is my job. Oh, that's not hentai. No, but... no, that one is though. Oh, that one is. Yeah, the maid. <laughs> yeah. For me. Yeah. But uh, Yuri is my job. Obviously, it's a Yuri show, but it's a uh, uh, comedy. Okay. Yeah, girls, girls love comedy, but uh, not not hentai. No, definitely just kind of a silly comedy. Konosuba. I think my wife watches that one too. Yeah, Konosuba is number four in the popularity group. Yeah, that that's pretty popular. Konosuba got another season of it coming. Yeah, I think I might watch that one. I kind of dig that. I like I like crazy women. Oh, well, yeah, crazy <laughs> women are good. And that one is uh, an action uh, shoujo uh, instead of shonen. Um, but it looks very shonen, so we'll we'll have to see. We'll actually have to take a look at that one and see see what uh, what's there. Island of the Dead. I'll probably end up watching that. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, there are some tentacles there, amongst other things. Heavenly Delusion. Uh oh, is this like a golfing one? That I mentioned that one a couple weeks back. I that is the did. second season, and that's another one that I thought was really, really excellent, but didn't get a dub. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's basically girls golf, but very shown in action, superpower hits, that kind of thing. You know, dude, even Kijo got a dub. I, I, Come on, I, I can't believe that one didn't get a dub. Yeah, so. Uh, Birdie Ooh. Wing is what it's called, and uh, it's really cool. So if you want to watch some some girls golf with a lot of action and things, uh, that's it. That's um. You said you cried. Watching I did. It. I watched the pilot, and the second season is coming out for um the Gundam, the new Gundam, the Mobile Suit Gundam, the Witch from Mercury. Okay. And the pilot made me cry. It was such a good opening uh, episode for the first season. Yeah, I should. You know what? I, uh, before I leave, make sure I look at these and take pictures of the ones I want to. Sure. Yeah. I'm interested. Absolutely. In. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be putting together our uh, what are we going to watch list. No kidding. Looks like I might have a lot this season. There's a lot of stuff. The a lot Doll of Master. Stuff. Idol Master. Yeah, Idol Master. The there, Idol Master. I, there's actually only a few Idol shows this season, which normally there's like three or four. Um, and I think there's only couple this time no I'm, I'm wrong there's definitely more but yeah the idol shows which normally i skip over but i have to admit occasionally i i do get hooked into one little kong ming well yeah kong ming definitely yeah definitely uh boy kong ming oh more psychopaths uh movie yeah psychopaths has a movie coming out um and let's see when the date of that one is Man, thick thighs do really save lives. Look yeah, at that. They, they do. They do. <laughs> Which, uh, speaking of that, the third of, of the uh, Atelier Ryza games comes out in a month. Mm -hmm. um, and those are just awesome if you've ever, the Atelier Ryza series, if you've ever played those. Want some kind of laid back role playing goodness. Okay. I can't believe you didn't pull out the the fact that we've got another Tenchi Muyo GXP movie in there. Oh my God, there is. Yeah. I didn't even see it. Yeah. I thought I saw something that reminded me of the art, but I didn't see it. Was it close to the front? Do you know where it was? I uh, I shuffled them all in yeah, there random it. just so you'd have some fun with that. The Psychopath movie comes out May twelfth. Called Providence. Yeah, I I think you you might. I, mean, I think you're showing your colors that like the the psychological horror stuff is like your true anime genre right there. I you know there's so many good there's so, there's so many good anime. Oh, yeah. Like the genres I don't know. I guess you know what I don't even know what to say about it. It just Oh, I can say I was actually disappointed in uh Michael B Jordan cuz he listed his top 5 anime and I they were all just like super popular. Oh, uh, which I, ones? Uh, it was One Piece, uh, Naruto, Bleach, uh, Hunter vs. Hunter, Hunter x Hunter, uh -huh. um, and uh, another really popular one. They were all like 
shonen stuff. There it is. Yeah. That's the one I was like, that looks like Tenshi yeah. Moyo. And then yeah. I must have grabbed the other card from behind it. You might have got distracted yeah. by some tentacles or something. I bet it could be too. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll be watching Tenshi Moyo. I'm, still, I'm trying to find all of them. All the Tenshi Moyo stuff yeah. is so good. That, that was some excellent stuff from, from the past. But that, that's a kind of precursor to uh, the new season of anime coming up in three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, my top animes are not... I think my top one isn't very popular at all. That area. See, and that's what I was saying is I feel like any big anime fan is going to have something in their list that somebody hasn't heard of before. Mm-hmm. That you can't go into Hot Topic and see a t-shirt of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Iria, Zerum the Animation, Excel Saga are like two of my absolute favorites. Uh, probably. God, I loved, I love Dragon Ball, but yeah. it's so long. Oh, Dragon it's... Ball was the other one he, he mentioned. Okay. Yeah. So long. Like, I like the shorter ones that I can rewatch. Those tend to become my favorites, like Trigon. Yeah. Um, with, with such a great, that's one of the things I love about anime is a lot of the the shows that you don't hear about just have such a perfect little story arc. Mm-hmm. It's like twelve episodes, twenty four episodes, beginning and great little story arc. Yeah, and and those are the ones. That's why I was disappointed he didn't mention something other than just like the really popular stuff. Yeah, like the ones that leave you wanting more. Like if yeah. if uh, if the character came into another storyline and got another season way down the road, I'd I'd absolutely watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. I got the hiccups. Oh, you need water or something? Yeah, I probably do. Too much talking. I should be used to it by now. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm looking forward to uh, us talking about the next uh, stuff for anime. I do want to mention before we exit out of anime the the fact that I've gone back and started a run um, with the one year ago stuff. Okay. So one year ago, I was watching anime, and it's... And I I uh, skipped finishing some things because there's you know new anime coming out and and part of the problem is I like to watch the dubs and the dubs are usually not quite finished by the time the new season comes out. Okay. So I end up missing a couple that I wanted to watch and I've gone back and um, started watching again uh, the full season of the um, I'm a realistic hero in another world whatever the name of that one is. Realistic hero. Okay. And I, I really like the um, the animes that do more like uh, intellectual, cerebral kind of things. And basically, that's what it is. He's, a, he's an average kind of guy with not a whole lot of power mm. trying to save this kingdom. But he does it because he's smart and he's bringing in things from the other world instead of just has a lot of power. And I, I, I like that. So, uh, have you watched Night's Magic? It's it's I watched it in uh... Florida. It was probably maybe five years ago yeah I, don't, I haven't seen that one. Oh my god okay so let's try that one i think Night's it's magic yeah it's like an isekai i think but you don't really hear much about the world i think he gets hit by a car at the beginning and then gets transported <laughs> to some medieval <laughs> mech uh, world there, there is the the joke of uh they call it truck coon and uh, oh, truck coon usually takes out the the guy to send him to the <laughs> nether world yeah truck, so coon, that... truck coon got him Oh, well, you know, me and me and my daughter, we watched the show, and uh, he he has to use his brain a little bit to just improve these mechs and make them okay. so much better, and it's it was really cool the whole process of them uh, of it. I, I I don't know, give it a give it a try. Maybe oh, it definitely like it. that sounds like the kind of thing I would like. Um, yeah, I I definitely like when they instead of just being overpowered, they have to use what they knew in the the real world mm-hmm. to make the other world better. Yeah. And, and it all goes back to the original story of this is uh, Mark Twain. Mark Twain did it first. We're the Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's court. Oh, okay. So there you go. Mark Twain. Wow. Good old Twain. There's only, uh, there's only other one other Twain that I know that I, I absolutely adore. Shania. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cute as a button. And that's all I got for anime. All right, let's move into video games. Video games. All right, so playing, uh, Snap. Okay, still playing, still playing. I'm, 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 you know, I said I was done. The new season just got here with Nimrod. Uh, Nimrod. I I quit Magic every week, so I feel your pain. Yeah, no, no, no. I haven't really played much. I haven't been keeping up on my my quests and stuff because literally after the reset, where they where they bring you down in ranks. Okay. Yeah, um, Yeah. I've been going against nothing. But Thanos and Galactic Dex. I was worried that eventually um, 
snap would have devolved into everybody just plays this deck. Yeah, and it's literally it's literally that way right now, and they're making it hard to get Galactus and Thanos because I believe Galactus, Canos, uh, Canos, Thanos, and Kang are going to remain pool five cards. So okay. they're always going to be the most expensive amount of tokens. Okay. Um, they'll never go down in price, so you have to wait for them to rotate or yeah. draw them out of a catch, which I don't even think is a. I don't even. Th- I don't even think that's possible, or it's so minuscule of a chance. You're. Yeah, you're I was. I it. was really worried. Snap would eventually hit that part where everybody's playing the exact same deck. Yeah, and the and the funnest part about this is that Leech is in both of those decks. Oh. So. As soon as Leech hits, like, pretty much everything is done. Like, unless you just have a brute force deck with just nothing but power. Yeah. You're you're done. Jeez. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's straight up not a good time, dog. <laughs> I, I hope they're able to fix it because I loved the snap concept. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I did have that fear in the back of my head that just like, just like magic, there's only a, a handful of decks that anybody plays. Yeah. Sad. So, I mean, yeah, now I understand... Damn more than ever why they need to uh, like in magic uh re- not recycle cards but like cycle through to yeah. newer cards see stuff. you know i i'm kind of glad that you finally hit this because you you were always like oh i want to keep playing that card and i was like no man yep. you got you got to have those restrictions or else it just becomes stale because that's that's what happens people well, just keep playing the game the, yeah the deck well, my 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 play style is always trying something new in this game. Mm. Like I like the old old deck or the same deck gets stale to me after a while. So I don't know why I had that mindset. I think it was just because I was buying physical cards sure. that were just yeah. gonna collect dust in a box when I was done with them. Oh yeah, and that that's uh, obviously uh, you don't you want to play with the cards you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, mm. I I think uh, we're we're hitting our first uh, massive speed bump in that game, and mm. I and it'll be curious to see how people get over it yeah see how they navigate it mm-hmm. uh grounded still, yeah still pretty fun i i have enjoyed our time playing yeah. grounded if you don't know what grounded is it's basically honey i shrunk the kids and mm-hmm. a survival kind of game um I, i've enjoyed that yeah it's been a it's been a blast just, just being able to explore even even when we're not doing anything just run around and seeing everything it's really cool um in the settings you can turn your blur distance down Oh. To make it look just like a crazy backyard. Oh man, nice. it, it's really it's really cool. Nice. Uh, and then Fortnite. I've been trying to end the season with a bang. I think it ends tonight. Okay. Um. But yeah, uh, there's no way I'm not gonna get all the bonus oh. rewards. But I do solemnly swear that before I am gone off this earth, I will get all the bonus awards or rewards in in one of the battle passes. Okay. Yes. That will happen. That's bucket list stuff. <laughs> yeah, for, Fortnite, for as much grief as it gets some places, I, it, they they manage to keep it fresh. Mm-hmm. And that's a hard thing to do Yeah, uh, with a live service game like that. So mm-hmm. I, I have to give them kudos for that. Yeah, but if you're also a, a PC master race that constantly uh, dogs on uh, console players, um, they nerf the hell out of auto aim or oh, uh, aim nice. assist. Okay. No, they, uh, for console players. Like, oh, they, for it's console just, players. Yeah, it's oh. just non-existent. Really? Yeah, I'm having the worst time, is like oh. snapping the targets and stuff. It is, it is disgusting how terrible it is. Oh. So I hate to hear that. Yeah, I want to say the people that bitch about aim assist uh, aren't really PC Master Race people. Oh. They're, uh, they're just terrible gamers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was Nick that said it, not JD. Yeah. So <laughs> you can blame me. Uh, and that's all I got. That's all I've been playing. I got a little bit of news. Have you been playing anything new? I, I played Wulong. Uh, that is oh, the, the King? uh, well, I, no, that's no, not something, Wulong. something dynasty. Um, it's basically a, um, souls like, okay. Yeah. It's, it's a souls game, but it's actually more like Neo instead of Elden Ring. Okay. Elden Ring was, was nice because you could still do a lot of exploration without, needing to get good with every single thing you you encountered Mm -hmm. and because this is more linear yeah you you have to slog through a lot of stuff from the beginning yeah and and so yeah it it was it was not my thing Mm -hmm. not my thing um managed to get an 81 on critic reviews though so uh some people are definitely enjoying it some people are glutton for punishment yeah yeah a game i enjoyed more but only got a 69 in reviews is scars above 
Oh, I ain't and even heard of that, I don't think. It's, uh, what would you call it? Um, kind of like a more adventurous thing, like Returnal. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it, very, very similar to Returnal. Uh, but I like the... I think it did a better job with story elements at times. Okay. So definitely some things to like about uh, Scars Above. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got some... I got news for video games, and I, I probably yeah, I got, got just a few reviews. I got, I got, I got some news myself. All right. Uh, new Dragon Ball Budokai game announced. Mm -hmm. um, that's like, it's like the old school fighting game. Yeah. I don't think it... I, I liked it because it was Dragon Ball stuff. Yeah. But now that Fighter Z is out here, it's gonna be a huge year for for fighting games. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Street Fighter Six is coming. Tekken. Yeah. All all of them. Are yeah. Good games. Yeah. Huge year for fighting games. And Dragon Ball just entered the the, mm -hmm. the arena for the week for the yeah. year. Yeah. And I'm I'm not sure how I feel about it. I I think Fighter Z was a much better fighting game than uh, mm. Budokai. But I will tell you that when I first got the Wii. And I got Budokai 2, I think. Um, like, you had to mimic it with the nunchuck oh, controller, like nice. all the moves. So that, that was kind of fun. Uh, let's see. All the Dead Spaces are coming to Game Pass. We already did that. First Person Mode is finally coming to Fortnite. Oh, uh, okay. Next season, which hopefully is true. Um, this is kind of rumor leakish, but um, it's the same people that leak every patch. And they're, they, they do all their data mining. Okay. So... Uh, like, I'd be surprised if it doesn't come. Uh, Square Enix's CEO, who live who loves NFTs, is being replaced. Yes, Thank God. yes, yes. That is such good news. Mm. Such good news. Oh man, that the the CEO for Square Enix has uh, uh, he's driven the Final Fantasy franchise and everything just into the ground and yep. the Square Enix itself. He's a big poopy oh, shit. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> So glad they're replacing him. We'll see how the new guy works out. Yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully much better. He's apparently really young. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not sure of his name, but that kind of scares me. I, it does yeah, me too. Because like the crypto thing is, it seems to be uh, all younger people that are really into yeah, it. My kids think it's stupid. Thank God. So. Yeah, you've raised them right. Yeah. You've raised them right. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with Square Enix, but uh, yeah, it definitely has not been um, a great year, but. The CEO being out, that's, that's good news. Maybe mm -hmm. they'll write the ship. Uh, do you have the other news about Squaresoft, Square Enix? I don't. Uh, so they shut down the Lumina Studio, okay, which uh, was responsible for Final Fantasy XV and for Spoken. Oh, and good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they shut them down. Yeah, for Spoken looked beautiful. I never played You played the demo, though, didn't you? I finished it. Oh, you did? Yeah. And you said it was it was a beautiful world, not much to do. Is that what you said? There, there was a lot. Of, so basically, if you played and you just did the main story, it was a pretty decent experience. Oh, okay. Um, there was a lot of filler side quests. Oh. Um, a lot of going here, or there that really didn't add much to the the story or whatever. the The main character was not exactly likable. Um, Maybe that's what I heard. Yeah it it was it was really not a bad game. Yeah. But they made some creative choices that did not do it any favors. Yeah, it doesn't set it apart from anything that's yeah. the same. Yeah, it, I mean it was a it was a B game, not an A game. It was yeah. a B game. Had had some cool moments worth playing through for the main story. Uh graphics were pretty decent. Um the game the actual action of the gameplay was good. Mm -hmm. But uh the the character was kind of irritating both of both of the main characters. Kind, kind of, of a, a kick in the face uh, for for PlayStation because isn't this isn't this the game that they were showing off the PS5 yeah. hardware? With? Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. This is definitely one of those. Hey, hey, look what's coming to PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this that was definitely one of those games. Yeah. Um, so great rental. Yeah, if you want to just rent it, play through the main story, I would recommend that. Not a buy. Yeah, or just watch the play through on YouTube. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, too bad. Uh, my last bit of news is Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield are coming to Fortnite next season. All right. So, yeah, you got any more news? Uh, Starfield got its release date. Ooh, September sixth this year. Yes, God willing. <laughs> no, I, know, God willing. <laughs> no, I, I got honestly. I think it's ready, but I think <clears throat> that they saw how packed the uh, the summer was. Yeah. And they decided to push it back to fall. That's okay. that's my 
impression. I don't, I don't think that it was a matter of they needed more time. I think it was a matter of they didn't want it to, to fall, you know, within all the other just amazing stuff that mm-hmm. they would have to compete with in the summer. Okay. So I, I think the September 6th date is a great one. Yeah, I just hope it makes it. I just hope it stays there and yeah. we're able to actually play the thing because I've been pretty excited about it. Um, it. It's been building up. It's like stairs, a stairway of excitement. Now, you know, the, when it was announced, I didn't have Xbox. I was pretty much done with Xbox because PS... Or I, I well, the PlayStation the ruled uh, the PS2, 3, and 4 eras. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. The PS5, I'm going to give to Xbox. The the new this generation, I'm going to give to Xbox. But. See, actually, during the PS3, Xbox 360, uh, I actually like 360 better. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. But I also wanted to make my my launch PS3 last as long as mm. possible because that's the backwards compatible one. Right. So yeah. that thing still fucking runs. Yeah, I've got both my PS3 and PS4 right there. Oh hell yeah, yeah. you got the, you got the old school one too. Is that no? No, oh, I, I missed I missed out on the backwards compatible. It's it was I think right after they took that out. No, I got mine at launch. Okay. But I didn't have backwards compatibility with mine. Really? Yeah, but I did get mine at launch. I've got all my PlayStations at launch. Yeah, I had uh I got I got the big ass tanky PS3 and then I got that version too cuz I I was so scared. <laughs> I was oh, yeah, so scared. Yeah. Like I hopefully that one lasts like 20 years into the future. I don't know. Um Anything else you got? Uh, let's see. What's what's a game that people should be getting coming out? I I've got a bunch of things on my radar as far as what I'll be playing. Like so, this week I'll be playing um, Record of Agris War, which is an old uh, port onto the Switch now, and then the the next Trails game, and then on the sixteenth uh, the Alice Gear game comes out so a bunch of kind of obscure stuff um the next real big game is jedi survivor in april yeah so honestly it's a great time to get through the backlog Mm -hmm. um there's not much coming out until the end of april okay you know i have to get busy uh move on to other yeah all right uh if you have a ford or if you plan on buying a ford in the future um yeah actually you probably won't have to worry about it (laughs) i've had my i've had my truck for I got it in 2002. Okay, so imagine... So 21 years I've had my Ford. Imagine your Ford breaks down. And, you can't, and it's too too much to <laughs> yeah. replace. Okay? Um, so you're like, man, Ford did me good. Mm-hmm. Truck lasted forever. I'm going to buy another Ford truck. Okay. But then you forget your payment date. And you miss it. And your truck drives away by itself. Oh, my God. It repossesses itself. <laughs> repossesses itself. <laughs> Apparently they filed a patent. <laughs> so, so new Ford cars can repossess itself. <laughs> okay. If you miss a payment, if it transforms and walks down the street, I'll be okay with it. I put, I put, you miss a payment and that mofo Autobot rolls out on you. <laughs> okay, yeah. only if it transforms. Yeah, only yeah. if it transforms or does well, an Optimus okay. Prime voice. Yeah, then yeah. then I'll be like, okay, okay, I deserve mm-hmm. that. I deserve that. Uh, bought the Xbox Mini fridge. Yeah, I saw that. It was I'll be sweet. taking it back tomorrow. Really, yes. it doesn't work. It's not a fridge. It's a cool. It, no, it's a drink chiller. Oh, good God! You paid a hundred bucks for a drink chiller. Oh, and I'm taking it back because it's already dripping water. Oh, damn! Uh, all over the inside, all over the, my my counter. It's kind of leaking God. out the door, and I'm like, dude, I, it's been working for two days. I haven't had it on the whole Aww. time because I read the manual. I was like, what a piece of shit. This yeah, is. That, that's that's sad. That's yeah. sad. It looks so cool, but yeah, that that's how that often goes. And then. Uh, Okay, some some I come across the the last week, uh, Christina Scabia, and she is the singer for Lacuna Coil. Okay, okay. Now I've loved their music for twenty years easily. Um, I remember I was introduced to them by Guitar Hero. Oh, okay, yeah. And I just I I liked I liked the sound of their music and everything. Um, and lately on social media, she's been posting a lot of geeky stuff. So I found out that we have the we have the same phone and phone case. Oh. Uh, she she was talking about anime statues wow. and how she's actually like a partnership with one of these companies because she was doing an unboxing or an unveiling. Wow. Um, so, so she's your new waifu then? Uh, maybe, maybe yeah. she's fifty years old. She's your age. Still, still <laughs> beautiful. 
Uh, still making music, I think. Me too. But uh, she wears a lot of Star Wars stuff. Does a lot of the... Um, goes around to do a lot of the events for like video games, Star Wars. I mean, oh, it's crazy. What a, what a cool babe. Yeah, comics, Star Wars, anime, video games. What a cool babe. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a shout out for the geeky person. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I'm, I might start doing that a lot more. We got yeah. uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. We got I, I know, yeah. We got Christina Scabia now. And we got... Uh, God, what's his name with the abs? Henry Cavill. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, we, all really you know, geeky, geeky people. We can put Jordan B. Michael. Oh yeah, the, Michael yeah, B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Um, we can put him in there, but uh, he's got to improve his anime list. Yeah, he's bro. Just got to improve it. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell him to his face though. He's, he's a pretty big dude. <laughs> and Killmonger. He played. I'm not gonna tell Killmonger. Killmonger do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, moving to rumors. Uh, Funko Pop oh, is yeah. uh, is destroying, dumping thirty million dollars worth of Funko Pops just to kind of put that out there. Yeah. What? Okay. So uh, their warehouse is overflowing, and it just costs them more to rent out the extra storage than it does to destroy the the extra Funko Pops they got. Yeah. It does That's make you sad. wonder if you could go to their warehouse and just get a few. Go to. Or do the, you think they're go to gonna, the dump? Yeah. You think I, they're just gonna melt them down or some shit? I would hope they at least recycle them, yeah. but I don't think so. I think I think wasteful. Yeah, it's just yeah. gonna go out to the dump. like the ET Atari games. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh. All right. Anything else? I, that's all I got. Do we still have time for the Marvel game? Yeah. Let's do. Do you want to do the Marvel game now or the rumors? Whichever, whatever order you want to do, man. Let's do the Marvel game. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll close up with the rumors. I, I think the Marvel game fits in the rumors because it's almost a kind of rumor section ish right, type let's, stuff. Let's do rumor A will be the Marvel game okay. and rumor B will be well, so we'll we'll do the rumors right now. So what we've got is I've got a list of all of the current hero ish characters in the Marvel cinematic universe. Yeah. And we're going to discuss whether or not these characters are still relevant. And whether or not they'll make it to Secret Wars or beyond. Okay. So th- I got a two for you here. Okay. These characters appeared in Wakanda Forever. And one of them is currently the general for the Dormelage. So that is Ao and Nika. Okay. So do they have a Marvel existence still? <sighs> They're both still alive. I, yeah, probably. Because uh, I can see them doing the. Did they did they get the the armored suits? No, that that was uh, Shuri and Nakia. No, yeah, Nakia didn't um, have it. Was it Nakia? I don't remember. Uh, I forget that Anika. No, that that's that's uh, Okoye. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okoye was the the old general. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I could see them having like a a a, a spot in armor wars or something if they if the, they were the ones that were sporting the armor. But so I, many characters. Yeah, there's a lot of characters. That, this is the the kind of character that you're like, oh yeah, they got a prominent part in this movie, but I could honestly see them never appearing again. Yeah, it's uh, they they seem pretty tethered to the Black Panther. Like uh, like Wakanda. But even even if there's another Black Panther movie or if some of the other characters appear, I think that these two might just be gone. Okay. Not that anything happened to them. I just mm-hmm. don't think their story is going to continue. Okay. Yeah, I could probably I could probably see that. All right. In the same vein, same movie, Atuma, the general for Namor's army. Yes. Um I could I could see them coming back. It, I guess that depends on what they do with Namor. I I know it's it's a hard thing to to. It depends on a lot of things. What are they going to do with Black Panther? What are they going to do with Namor? None of the there's not been a, like a sequel announced for either one. Yeah. At this point. Damn. Will they survive Secret Wars? Mm, Will Atuma survive maybe, Secret Wars? God, I don't even know if they're going to be a part of it. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Mm. No, I, I I think these these characters. They, yeah, they want to be hidden. They don't they don't want the world to know that they exist yet. Yeah. Yeah. I think Namor will make an appearance for Secret Wars. Uh but 
I'm going to say that the other characters are done. Okay. They 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 don't have any more existence names. Was that Namorita and Atuma? Uh, Namora. Namora. Namora and Atuma. Okay. So here is the theme character for Phase Four. All right. And I think you can wrap a lot of these characters into this. Ralph Boner. Oh yeah, yeah. One and done. I I think he's done. I think, but it it just strikes me as as this is kind of the theme for Phase Four with all these cameos. Yeah. Every, there's been Ralph Boner has existed in so much of Phase Four that uh, that that's just kind of the theme. Yeah. There, there's just so many Ralph Boners. Mm. Yeah, I I would like to see the lesser ones. Um, the lesser characters go by the wayside. Yeah. I think we should focus on. Uh, I mean, I, last week we talked. I, I said that there were thirty. Yeah, that there might have been thirty heroes. What was that list? One hundred and eighteen, one hundred nineteen. Now that uh, Punisher is in yeah. the MCU, that's insane. That yeah. is so much to keep track of. I oh, so my limits obviously about thirty superheroes <laughs> yeah. at once. Yeah, um, and that's not including like bad guys. So. Hopefully, hopefully a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of them die off. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's hard I, to I'm say, hoping but... secret. By the time Secret Wars comes around, we're cleaning the slate. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here's one that is actually making an appearance in a new movie. Uh, Isaiah Bradley. Isaiah Bradley. I should know this, huh? Who is Isaiah Bradley? He is the character. From Falcon and Winter Soldier, the TV show, that he's the old cap, black Captain America. He's the black Captain America. Oh yeah, yeah okay. And he's gonna be in Captain America Four. Really? Yeah. Nice. I wonder if he's gonna be I bet strong, he, or are they gonna show off a little bit of him? I bet he dies. Yeah, I bet I he dies so. in Captain America Four. Yeah. Yeah, it would definitely, you know, make it would it would it would be a, a tearjerker moment for Sam Wilson, I think. Yeah, yeah, but I can see this. I can see Captain America four actually wrapping up his storyline yeah. instead of forgetting about him. Yeah, I, I think I, they need to. Yeah, yeah, because I, I honestly kind of hope they don't try to keep him in just because they need to get rid of some characters. Really, yeah, definitely. But, yeah, but at least he'll get an ending. Yeah, at least I think he'll get an ending. So yeah. that, that's something to be thankful about. Yeah, there's a lot of heroes I don't think aren't going to get get a good ending. Yeah, they'll just be forgotten. Yeah. All right, so. This is, I'm guessing, this is your third favorite character in the MCU. Uh-oh. Which one? What is going to happen to Venom? Because isn't he in the MCU now at the end of Venom 2? Didn't they... Yeah, okay, so what happened was is that Eddie Brock saw on the TV... Um, Peter uh, Parker, right? Yeah, Peter Parker. Um, But he got zapped back to his own... Oh, okay. Universe. So he's no longer in the MCU. But he left some of the symbiote there. So Venom, the symbiote, is there, but not Eddie right. Brock. Right. Okay. So, so what about the sin? Uh, what do you think will happen there? With obviously, the it's got to find part. a host. But I'm wondering if they're going to do Venom. See, uh, there's so many different symbiotes they could do. Oh, like yeah. I don't know how they produce offspring, but I know that they have before. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, there's a number of symbiotes it could turn into if it's offspring or if it's just an offshoot of Venom. I don't know. So do you think they'll continue the storyline? I hope so. Venom's, uh, I think Venom will bring a lot more fans to the seats. He's big boy. Uh, so do you think Eddie Brock is out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're going to bring in a, a big a big time actor to play uh, Venom. Which kind of sucks because I really liked uh, I I really like him as Venom. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Why can't I think of his damn name now? Do you know that? Actor? <laughs> Tom, Hardy. Tom, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah. yeah. Too yeah. many Toms. Yeah. Tom Hardy. Yeah. Uh. But yeah. I. I hope. I hope he does make an appearance. But I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think they did it that way just so they don't have to. Um. Move him back and forth. Okay. Um, between the between the two different universes, I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know. Who knows? The multiverse is still happening. Oh uh, have... yeah, but I, I agree with you. I, I think honestly, I don't think they'll do anything with Venom until after Secret Wars. Okay. So I, I, I think Phase, what are we six? Is 
phase seven, maybe Venom, okay. me, Venom will come back in some way. Yeah. Maybe Peter Parker gets the Venom suit in Secret Wars. Ooh, that'd be cool. Because that is appropriate even... to the comics because that's where he picked up the the symbiote did not in even Secret Wars. That. Yeah. That completely I see that's why I I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Spider Man. I I knew that he had the suit at one time. I just completely spaced it. Picked it picked it up in Secret Wars. Yep. So I maybe Venom will reappear then. That would and be we'll badass. get to see him as a big part of phase seven. That would be badass. That would be super badass. Oh my god. I could see that. Happening. Yep, now I'm hoping. Yeah. All right. All right, let's end it on this character. This character's been in three movies two movies and a TV show. Okay. Karina. Karina. Do you even know who she is? And she's been in two movies and a TV series. Karina. It was it Agents? That, no, it's not Agents of Shield. I don't know. She was the collector's right hand. Oh yeah, the the pink alien girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure she's gone now, right? With what Thanos did to the collector's place, the, the collector might even be gone. I, I think technically she's still alive, but. I don't think she, especially James Gunn being done with Guardians of the Galaxy three. Yeah, yeah. I think her character is just going to be forgotten about. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd say so too. That's sad because there's going to be a lot of characters that are just done. Yeah, that we ran into. Hopefully, they do something with Howard Duck. He made an appearance. <laughs> he's he's on the list too. He made an appearance in Endgame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Howard the Duck. It took right. a while to find him. So what do you got for rumors? All right, uh, more delays are coming from Marvel. It's a, it's a boring boring week for rumors, yeah, yeah. Um, but the 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 new buzz is that the the leaks or the the delays have not um, they're not done yet. See now this brings into what I mentioned. We would get back to Kevin Feige. Mm-hmm. I am worried that Kevin Feige is on the way out. Oh God, I hope not. He's he's done some really good stuff. Um, well, they've canceled his Star Wars. Mm-hmm. The new CEO has said that his job's not safe. Uh, Ant Man didn't perform well. Yeah. I mean, it it it's sad to go because I kind of see him as Stan Lee's protege, yeah. but bringing like all of Stan Lee, what Stan Lee did to book, comic books. Yeah. Say he's doing the movies and TV, and I love it. But if he's making bad decisions that are costing a lot of money. I mean, Phase 3 ended with him... Disney basically handed him the keys Mm -hmm. at Phase 3 because he made billion-dollar movies. Yeah. Everything was looking good. And then Phase 4 has kind of fallen flat. Mm -hmm. Phase 5 is really struggling right now. There's not enough synergy between everything. Yeah, exactly. Everything... It's it's kind of like the galaxy. The galaxy is constantly moving apart from itself. That's kind of... It seems the way it's going... For the MCU, and if they, could, if he, if he would have brought it back, and maybe brought in Blade, if yeah, Blade yeah. would have been in uh, Werewolf by Night, yeah, there's, there's uh, synergy, yeah, synergy, synergy. Um, let's see who who could they have brought in to Ant Man and uh, uh, Quantum. Well, they didn't bring in some of the key characters for Ant Man that I think like Lewis. Oh yeah, would have been such a great part. Oh they, my god, yeah. yeah, he would have added so much fun to oh, that yeah. movie. Yeah, we never uh, we didn't get to see a recap. Yeah, one of his famous recaps, which really, really kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's just that's what we know Ant Man movies are. Um, God, I think the only thing that may keep Feige in place for now is they haven't groomed a successor. Yeah, but I on it if he doesn't pull out a big win soon, mm-hmm. he may be gone. Yeah. Oh, because man. Disney is not going to let him keep making expensive movies and have them bomb. Yeah, and it's kind of weird. Maybe what I'm saying isn't true because with the Multiverse of Madness, um, you know, Scarlet Witch wasn't in the other Doctor Strange movie, so there was some synergy there with a, with some, another Avenger. Yeah. And that one, I mean, it was the best movie of the year. For for last year, wasn't it? Uh, for for Dis- Marvel. For Marvel, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh man, don't. Uh, oh, I, no, hope, I hope ogre, we don't lose it. Ogre with the hard truth. Yeah, ogre man. I hope we don't truth. lose it. But you know what? At least we'll get the DC universe, and maybe. And that brings us to Mark Ruffalo. 
Oh, wow. This week he said that DC has what they need in order to overtake Marvel. Oh, shit. Is it a Hulk? <laughs> <laughs> it's James Gunn. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, James Gunn, he looks... Uh, there's just something about his movies that really... Like, uh, you get to feel the entire gamut of emotions in his movies. Yeah. And uh, he's done it twice. And I have a feeling he's going to do it for a third time with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So I am I might become more of a DC fan once he gets it's his entirely possible. Going. We'll have to see how it... Once DC gets through this rough spot of changeover, which yeah. will take a couple of years, once they get really going... I my prediction is they get going when when Lobo gets started. Yeah, maybe the new Superman because if he puts enough of a fresh taste in people's mouth with what I think he's planning for Superman, yeah. it may really uh, rejuvenate people's love for DC. Yeah, and I don't see him just going with the uh, with another origin origin story movie. No, he's basically said it's not going to be an origin story movie, but it's definitely going to be. Not a continuation, but a new feel for Superman. Good. Yeah, I think I think that that's kind of what it what it needs. I still don't like a lot of DC people because they're gods. But <laughs> well, the first chapter for God-like. for Gunn's universe is called Gods and Monsters. Mm. We'll see what that pans out to be. So Superman and Lobo. Yeah. God and Monster. God and Monster. Yeah. All right. Um. What else? I think I got one more rumor. And that is Steven Yoon uh, joins the is joining the Thunderbolt. And, oh, okay. and, the, and who is he? Uh, Steven Yoon. He was what is his name? Glenn in The Walking Dead, the Asian oh. guy. Oh, okay, okay. I know who you're talking about. Uh, yeah, the voice of Mark from Invincible. Okay, and I think he had a voice in Final Space as well. And I know he's been in other things. Uh, the Voltron. He's voice actor in the new Voltron for Netflix. Um, Do you know what character he's playing? Everybody's saying that he's going to be Sentry. Him as Sentry, and I don't, I don't like that at all. And it's not because you know he's Asian; it's because Sentry's look is the long blonde hair. It, he he he. And, well, but, he's supposed buff. to. Yeah, he's supposed to look like a Superman. He's supposed yeah. to basically look like a Superman knockoff. Yeah, big buff, um, big buff, blonde hair. And uh, wasn't he written to be like a, a a junkie? Oh yeah. And I just yeah. don't like. I'm, I'm sure he can nail it. He's a great actor. I'm yeah. Just, uh, just throw me through a loop. Yeah, so. it, it'd be interesting to see if he can pull that off because it's got to be somebody who's big and buff, but he comes across as very delicate, mm-hmm. very uh, breakable. Yeah. Um, and we know emotionally damaged. Yeah. I think I think he could take on most of the like everything uh in the mental area but not in the physical. Yeah, and and Sentry's supposed to have that paradigm of he's physically buff, he's mm-hmm. physically superior but mentally inferior. Yeah. And that just doesn't seem like a good casting role for that. But with with Shazam, and I don't know if that the guy that plays Shazam oh, was yeah. actually that big. No. Because the suit just looked comically. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. So if he, I mean, if they give him that treatment and it works, I don't know. I, it might look really weird. I, it's it's weird. But then they turn Sentry into a comedic character instead of an emotionally damaged one. Scary. Sentry to me is scary. Yeah. He needs to be that last resort call where every, where you're hoping that by making the call to him it works out. Because you have no other option. Yeah. He's not like Shazam where you can have a comic character in that role, I don't think. Yeah, he's kind of like a... Like, if you call him in, there's a good chance for mutually uh, assured destruction from the Void. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So, yeah, kind of like a Hail Mary when when you absolutely have to. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope they don't take away from that. Because that's what makes him him. Yeah. 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 That's what makes Sentry's character. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, gamers and geeks, this is Ogre. Yeah. Episode thirty-three. Old guys geekly review. Never, li- never too late to be a dick. Never, no, never too late to be a dick. <laughs> be a dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
I almost made it through. I almost made it through without a terrible fumble. Well, you know what? If, if people listening to this made it this entire length, they deserve that. They deserve. Yeah, yeah. They deserve to hear that. <laughs> Be good to each other, everybody. Yeah, man. I, I was. I was really nervous when I, like, I, I got excited when they announced he was, yeah. was casting. He, he, yeah. But, but for who's the? Yeah.